Welcome to Study Like a Scientist the HSC questions. Let's have a look at what you do. When you see a question, read it. Um, make sure you highlight the verbs, understand what the science is all about and the purpose of the question. So answer what the question is actually about. Notice any plurals and look at the number of marks and that will help you plan your response. So remember scientific words. Uh, plan the style and the length of your response. So are you doing a flowchart? Are you doing a table? Are you just writing paragraphs? Is it a method? Um, engage with the stimulus. So if there's a picture or a diagram, use it and be logical in your response. So take a moment to plan what you're going to say. And then when you finish writing, review it. Double check that you've answered everything and noticed all the bits from the question that you were highlighting and circling before. So let's have a look at Question from 2023, 20, paper question 22. And this is obviously module seven. Um, it's a describe question. So a describe question is all about the characteristics and the features of what's what the question is about. So we're going to need to describe two aspects, the, the nature and the characteristics of the features. Um, and this is about phagocytes and protecting against pathogens. So for two marks, we need a little bit of detail in there. Here's the marking criteria. Um, so have a quick read of that, pause this if you need to. And let's have a look at what a student has written. So they've written that phagocytes are white blood cells that surround pathogens. So it's not wrong. So have a look at it, have a, um, a consideration of the marking criteria and decide what they could do to improve it slightly. So pause, have a think. Okay, so hopefully you notice that this isn't quite detailed enough. What we're missing here is um, how it protects us. So it surrounds the pathogens, but then what? So hopefully you were able to notice there was a little bit of detail missing. Um, have a think about how you could improve that detail. What key scientific terms could you use to improve this answer? So pause, take a turn yourself to have a go at this question. Part B for this question was an explain. So explains require you to think about cause and link it to effect. So how and why things happen. And in this question, we are still in module seven and we're looking at antibodies um, and how they are produced. So some of the key words you're going to need to use are things like B cells and T cells and because they are the white blood cells involved in the production of um, antibodies and the response um, in when a pathogen enters. And pathogens obviously have antigens on them. Those are those foreign markers on the surface. So those are the kind of key words you're going to want to include in what is going to be quite a long answer, a four mark answer. So let's have a quick look at the marking criteria. Pause this if you want to have a look. It's not super helpful. It just tells us that to get different marks, you just want to be either thorough, very detailed, or sound, or less than that. So let's have a look at what this student has done. And read this with the marking criteria. Make a decision as to whether they are correct, incorrect, and how many marks they have got. So pause and make an assessment. So hopefully you notice that it's not incorrect science here. Um, we are missing some key facts though. So we've got antibodies made up of, are made by B cells. That's good. Uh, they are specific. That's great because the invading pathogen is foreign to the body and has foreign antigens on its surface, which are recognized by the B cells and the B cells make the right antibodies to bind to them. So there's nothing wrong with that. But I think what we're missing here is that idea of when the pathogen enters what happens. So we're missing the idea of T cells being activated. And why do the T cells get activated? Well, a dendritic cell has noticed the pathogen first and expressed antigens on its surface. So I think there's a little bit before the B cells making antigens, sorry, making antibodies that you could talk about. So with that in mind, see if you can Take a moment to write your own response. Good luck.